I think if I were going to explain the Hesmet movement to someone who didn't know anything about it, what comes through for me is the dedication that is evidenced by those who have committed themselves to really practicing their faith in a way that expresses the core values of Islam, the values of love, of diversity, of understanding, of looking for ways in which the injunctions that we all have as religious people to do good in the world is really lived out in some pretty um, dynamic ways within the Hesmet movement. As we look at the world and the struggles and the difficulties that are facing our world, that education is just paramount, that uh, at all levels and uh, of society, understanding not only what our belief structures are that inform our day-to-day -day living, but also to understand how it is that we live in a diverse world with different understandings, different perspectives, even different religions, different political agendas or uh, political structures. The thing that I saw time and time again and continue to see as I'm exposed uh, to the Hesmet movement is that commitment of diversity when it comes to education. The other thing I was very impressed about uh, with the Hesmet movement is the relief work that is happening. Uh, we had our own experience here on Staten Island with Hurricane Sandy a few years ago and the opportunities we've had with the Turkish Cultural Center to uh, do some recovery work there really exposed me to the worldwide, truly the global reach that the Hesmet movement has in doing the work in places in the world that are often forgotten. And what I'm very, very much impressed about is that these are often just professional men and women who have full-time jobs, who have full-time active lives, who are giving not only of their financial resources, but are giving of their time to go to countries and do the work that needs to be done. Uh, I think that is very exciting. And I personally, as a priest, find it a great testimony to my own tradition and to the people of my own community to say that, yes, if we are truly committed to changing the world, if we're truly committed to bringing relief to a community that has been suffering through either a natural disaster or some political upheaval or any other number of, of issues of poverty, uh, etc., then we've got to be the people who stand on the front line and do that work. We can't just write a check. Money is helpful and money can buy a lot, but it's getting people connected with people in ways that help us understand that, that we are truly all one human community. And I think that is a great, a great strength that ESMIC continues to demonstrate through its involvement in relief work throughout the world.